This week, it's the circle of mistrust as you use geometry to destroy their wallets. You're gonna steal them? This, I, let me work on this one. Toast me, you beautiful bastards! Yip, yip, yip. Back again at Rusty Mule, we've got Craig, we've got Matt, we've got David. We're gonna learn a brand new game sent in to me by somebody who claims his name is Caffeine Boost. The game is played with 15 tokens. In this case, we're gonna use cups. They could be coins or sugar packets with a upside and a downside, but you wanna make a circle of 15. I want you guys to play, because here's the thing. I have not experimented with this, but I do have some insights. So I want you guys to play just, uh, I'll tell you what, Matt, you and David, each of you can turn over one or two at a time. If you turn over two, they have to be side by side. If you turn over one, it could be any one, you, doesn't matter, right? The last person to turn one of these face up is the winner. You, would you like to go first or would you uh, like me to go first? I will go first. Yeah. Let's start with a bold move. Okay, all right. Well, then I'll just do something like this. Now, is there any rhyme or reason to what you're doing just yet? Not yet. Okay, I'm all right. I'm trying to work it out. <laughs> yep, nope, I'm thinking too much. Not gonna think, gonna intuit. All right, all right. Uh, this is it. This is either the winning move or the losing move. <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. I didn't see that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no one, sir. Uh, and we have a winner right here. Uh, you want to try again? Let's try again, just for grits. In fact, let's leave it like this. We'll flip it the other way. Uh, it, you go first this time. OK. Uh, can I just do one? Yep. You can. Yep, yep, yep. You can do one or two every time. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> Clever. Um, I know there's checkpoints, but I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. And you got it again. All right, all right. To the surprise of exactly nobody at this table, <laughs> this is a variation on NIM where it's it's positionally based instead of just numbers and columns based. So essentially, what you're doing is every time you flip over, you're creating separate columns, and so then you can apply the lessons that we've already learned about NIM previously to this new game, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, you guys gotta toast, 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 toast. All right, so what do we know about strategies to win NIM that we've seen before? I think it's something about evening stuff out. That's right. The one that ring true to me was the three, five, seven one. The one where you start with a line of three, a line of five, and a line of seven. And there are certain pole positions that you could hit in order to maintain control and be the one who does it. So in this case, the moment one person makes a break, the next play should be to even out the, the stretch. So we got one, two, okay. three, four, five, six. So now you have two different tiers that you're playing against. And so let's say somebody did this, then what would you do? So two removed from this one, I'd probably do this one. Yeah, that would work. So so you have mirror image there, right? Could you also flip this one as well? We have we have four and two, and then we have two and three here. So you probably oh. would want to do that. So it's three and three and two and two. So so whose turn would it be? It would be your turn? We'll say it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But we'll just flip that one. Okay, so this is good. You actually broke apart yep. your, your thread. So now there's multiple tiers. So I would say that you would probably just want to mirror. Okay, and so you would mirror again, okay. Yep. right? Okay. Uh, no? Yeah, all right. And if you did that, right? Yep. Mirror. And, and so now he, he has to do one, and then yep. you get the last one on there, right? So he has to do that one, and you do this one, right? Boom, pay up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's try some variations on it. Uh, so knowing the rules now, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? First. Interesting, because I think there's more power to going second. Right now you have one line of 14, so you want to break it into two lines. Would I want to have the same number of up, uh, right side up cups on each side of the break? So and, I'd actually and, want to turn two. Correct. So your play as the second guy is to make two even piles. So now what would you do? I actually don't know. But... 
So I would just mirror his 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 prey. Right. At this point, it's totally decided because you'll either do one or two, one or two, one yep. or two, one or two. So at that point, you're totally you're totally hosed. How would you win if you're the first player? Then? So that's a good question. So let's let's figure out a strategy for that. If you go first, I would imagine you have to assume that the other person doesn't know they're playing nim. Okay. Right? right. Hopefully. So in that case, I one. would I would imagine that yeah. the first one would be just one. So so Craig, if you were gonna go, where would you go? Probably these two are Great. Okay, so what do we have here? We got one, uh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would say that you would probably you could do this, but now now you're I have a trilateral thing. Okay, so what would you do next? Oh interesting. So now we have two parallels. If I mirror him, I turn these two. I think this still I think this still lands in our advantage, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe not anymore? No, because I have to split this. So so you flip this. Right. And now it's his, yours, his, yours. Oh, I didn't even his. see this class. So what you would want to do instead would What's be two, what? Two of these. That's right, yeah. that's right. So now you know it's his, yours, his and then yours, and then you win. So in general, try to make things balanced. If you have to go first, what do you think the, the best move is? I don't know if there is one. If, if, <laughs> if, if they know the game, I'm gonna bet, because each player can either turn over one or two, at any moment, either player can make it into two separate equal threads. So I'm gonna say, always put down one down first. So what he would do is, if he knew the strategy, he would flip over two over here, right? Now say he's going first and he wants to win, would he not flip one or two of these? Uh, well, Which he makes was going... it so it's only one, no one's broken into even sections yet. I think whoever breaks it into even sections is winning. Let's say he did flip over two. Now we've got, uh, what is this, 13? You would just take it and break it in oh, half. To create the same thing. To create six and six. If both players know the strategy, second player pretty much can definitely win. I'm gonna say that key to pulling this off is not letting anyone figure out that you're actually playing Nim. Make it as its own game, but just you're secretly playing a game that they're hopefully not familiar with because it took us it took us a while to get in that Nim mindset. Caffeine boost, I think this is a good game. Good game. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check out all of the NIM episodes in the complete back catalog of Scam School. And of course, if you have a variation we haven't covered yet, hit me up directly at brian at schwood.com. There is no C in Schwood. And of course, we should be best friends at twitter.com slash schwood. And if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out our newest adventure, The Modern Rogue, where we do stuff like this. First, we have to pick the image that is going to house the secret. Oh, we gotta find an image. Yeah. Here, let's make something. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good in, uh, if a four-year-old drew the far side. <laughs> ah, because I, I, I don't want you to suddenly slide in a new, uh, yeah. <laughs> new player yeah, or anything. Not only that, look at this, I got an extra. <laughs> yeah, I know, look, I'm, I, I'm wise to your shenanigans. Holy cow, it really is. It's just straight up Nim. Wait, wait, what's that over there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, look at this.